Then he said to them all, we say this with me. Then he said to them all, if anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Come on, let's say it again. Then he said to them all, who said? And who said? And what did Jesus say? Let him deny himself, take up the cross and follow me. Amen. Take up the cross monthly. They take up the cross yearly. Take up the cross annually. If there's such a word, take up the cross decade. Amen. No, right? Take up the cross daily. Come on, say it again. New 93. Say it to me. New 93. Say it again. New 93. Look at the person next to you. New 93. Amen. Look at yourself. New 93. And what did Jesus say? And he said to them all. Say it to me. And he said to them all. Say it again. And he said to them all. Say it again. And he said to them all. Amen. If anyone desires to come up to me, say it again. If anyone desires to come up to me, say it again. If anyone desires to come up to me, let him deny himself. Come on. Let him deny himself. Let him deny himself. By the way, when the Bible uses him, it also means her. Okay, but it's just not for the masculine gender here, it's also for the feminine as well. Amen. Let him deny himself. Come on, say it to me. Let him deny himself. The next one. Take up the cross daily. And take up his cross daily. Say it to me. And take up his cross daily. And follow me. And follow me. Amen. 2009 is year of change. Amen. Right through. You know, every, you know, as we've done the message, you know, uh, two weeks ago we spoke, I spoke with Jonah. And you know, even last week, you know, I didn't tell uh, Pastor Stefan that we're doing change and transformation. You can see how the Lord just begins to reach and He stands up and says, speak on transformation. So God's got a purpose in each one, in, 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 in some in, in, these, in these messages. Amen. 2000 year is, 2009 is the year of transformation and change. It is a strategic year, it is a critical year. The bad news is of almost six months are gone, seven months are gone. But the good news is that at least five more months to go. Amen. You know, five more months to go to see, you know, change in our lives. Amen. Even as you look at this, you know, even this year, at the beginning of this year, what do we say? Like, expect great things and attempt great things for God. And of course, right now, some of you have all experienced, you know, to a certain extent, you know, you've seen right, some great things happening. You know, and there are pretty things that are going to take place. You know. But you know, if you're going to expect great things, so we need to expect to change. Come on, someone shout change. And when you want right, to attempt great things, amen, there's got to be change. The process of change. Amen. And you know, and one of the things of you and I must realize this morning, it is God that brings more change. Come on, someone shout out God. Amen. Who brings change? God brings change. Amen. We cannot change ourselves. We can just do what God wants us to do. And it's God that brings forth the transformation. It is God that brings forth the transformation of our attitudes. It's God that brings forth the transformation in some of our character defects. It's God that brings transformation this morning in our issues in our areas of life. It's God that brings transformation in our mind. It's God that brings transformation the way that we relate to one another. But what do we need to do? We need to allow Him to do that. Amen. I want even this morning, right? You know, I want each one of you, you know, to position yourself even this morning. You know, ask the Lord, you know, if, you know, ask the Lord, Lord, what do you want? If you and I want to move where God wants us to move, Amen. If you and I want to see, right? You know, the best that God has us, uh, that God has for us, we need to begin to do what God wants us to do. Can I hear you, Amen? You know, we need to begin to change, right? In areas that God wants us to change. And even this morning, church, we said we need to come, you know, in our lives, and we need our, our cry must be this morning, Lord, change me. Lord, what do I need to do this morning, amen, to change? Lord, what are the areas in my life that, you know, God, that, you know, I want you to speak very clearly. And even as I listened to your message this morning, you know, God, how will respond to change? Why? Because, you know, we need to see change. You know, sometimes in this process, you see, as I shared two weeks ago, amen, we've got the promises of God. Amen. You know, we've got the promises of God. God has given us promises. You know, right through scripture, God says, right, you know, God says, you know, I am the Lord that healeth thee. You know, God says, I will bless you. Amen. They that bless you, I will bless they that bless you of us. You know, God says, right, that he shall supply all our needs according to his riches. God says,
we study Jeremiah 29 verse 11, God has got a good plan for each one of us. Can I hear you, man? And man, look, God has given so many promises to each one of our lives. But you see, friends, the promises don't take place immediately. Here. Come on, someone shut up process. Amen. Amen. Come on, someone shut up process. Raise your hands and me and shut up process. Amen. Amen. And I feel the process is the problem. You see, my friends, if God can't trust us with the process, you know, the promise is not going to come from it. Can I hear you, man? If God cannot trust us right now, even if He leads us in this process, you know, it is the process right that will determine whether we receive the promise or not. The children of Israel had the promises. God said, I will take you into this land. I will take you into this land that belongs to some other people. And I'm giving you a good, come on, so much not a good. Amen. A good land. A land growing with milk and honey. Amen. But you see the process. In the process, what happened? Amen. They failed in the process. You know, they had the promise, they were saved. Amen. You know, they, you know, as, far as, as far as Christians, that even if you receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, and you're following the Lord, many of you are saved going to heaven. But you see that we miss out on God's best here. Amen. And so, in the process, you know, is our, is our journey in the process. It is a process of change. It is a process where God right, begins right to begin to deal with angels in our life. Right? And it is a process. Amen. If God can't trust us in this process, we will never see the promise. Right? Can I hear amen? You see, friends, even this morning, like, yes, sometimes, right, in this process, amen, sometimes, right, for things to get better, things to get worse. But God, why does this have to happen? But God, I've been faithful. But God, I've been faithful in church. I've been faithful. Amen. In my times, I've been faithful in some But God, why does this have to happen? Sometimes things have to happen. Amen. Sometimes God, God will use adversity. Amen. Even to stimulate us to see the promise fulfilled. God can use whatever He can, you know, God can use whatever He wants. Amen. Even this morning to stimulate us for change. Why? Because more than anything else. Listen. God's highest best is that His will be fulfilled in our lives. God's highest best is that each one of us become partakers of His nature. That each one of us will become the Christ. That we will be conformed to His image. And when each one of us right, will be a testimony of Jesus Christ. You see, but that will take place sometimes. Friends, this is the things will get worse. Sometimes, maybe, right, you know, you, you feel as though you're not going forward and you're going back, but sometimes things are happen. Sometimes, right, you know, God chooses. Amen. You know, it's great, right, when God, you know, answers immediately. But sometimes God chooses, amen, to answer a bit slowly. At His timing, the promises will build. And you know, sometimes, right, you know, sometimes we go through adversity. Sometimes we go through circumstances. Sometimes it's as though, amen, it's as though, right, God is killing everything that He needs to kill. That He kill. Why? Because the vessel that God is looking for this morning is a broken vessel. Amen. Listen, this is not a, you know, our Christian life is not a, a life, a message of convenience or a theology of convenience. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a teaching right of each one of us right now coming before the Lord. Each one of us going through the process and seeing the will of God fulfilled. It was Hudson Taylor that said this. He said, this is all of us right, you know, all of us right now are made to be victorious. All of us right are weak and feeble enough to leave on Jesus Christ. And then you amen. You see, all of us are weak. If you think this morning like you're strong, and this is not, no, begin to deal. All of us are weak. All of us depend on the grace of God. And this morning, this is the message that we have this morning, but it's what Jesus said. You know, over, over this last uh, week, it was really a joy. You know, we spent quite a bit of time with uh, uh, Pastor Stefan. He's been such a blessing to us. You know, the leadership, and you know, some staff, you know, my wife and I, you know, personal friends of him. You know, one of the things, you know, all over the world, right, you know, there's a message of convenience. You know, there's a message, you know, you're seeing, like, how, oh, you know, you know, so many times, you know, teachers, right, are bringing new age philosophies. You know, some of the research, you know, that the, the researchers that, you know, back up the messages, are, you know, our new age, you know, philosophers, you know. And, you know, people are putting a package, right, that they market it well, they spend a lot of time, and they flood the market. And as a result, you know, what happens is the Word of God is diluted. You know, the Word of God is diluted. Yes, you know, friends, listen, there's a place for the praise of God. Yes, even this morning, right, there's a place. I mean, each one of us must understand, change comes with God. But each one of us must understand this morning, we have a responsibility. Don't make your hands and tell your responsibility.